great crowd here this weekend. Yeah, we've seen a massive crowd this weekend. It's doubled in numbers since last year. Where we've also nearly doubled the field of cars. It has been very good. The central Queensland area, the motorsport is growing very quickly, which is good to see by events like this. Yeah, 45 cars in total. That is a lot of cars, isn't it? A lot of cars. This year it only took four days to get 45 cars signed up for this competition. In other parts of Australia, they're having troubles getting a dozen cars for a full competition as it is. So it's very good for the area and the sport is growing rapidly. Now, is it because of the area that we're in? Is there a lot of comp trucks in this area? There is a lot of comp trucks in the central Queensland area, but they do come as far afield as Mackay and Brisbane. It's a seven hour trip from either way and that way Central Queensland, as the name suggests, is a good meeting place to run a lot of four drive events. Now some of these guys here I believe not only do this sort of event but also do some of the speed rallies. Definitely there are a few rally drivers here who actually compete in exactly the same cars they're competing in now. One of them actually is in the top rally drivers in central Queensland in his car. Now a range of cars here for the weekend, we've got all sorts of different types. We do, we have a lot of different types. This is catered to mostly beginning, that's how it started out. They've all come back this year with fully comp spec cars, so a lot of the beginners starting last year have really made a lot of work and a lot of improvements to the cars in the last 12 months. So I can see that there's quite a number of different vehicles, different engine types. We've got turbo diesels, turbo petrols and some of the normally aspirated cars. Yeah, a lot comes down to individual choice and maybe the bank balance. But if you're a Nissan lover, you'll go for the Nissans. If you're a Toyota lover, you'll go for the Toyotas. And there's more and more Jeeps getting into the competition and the occasional Range Rover as well. So a lot of guys are very passionate about the breed of car that they do buy. And then they spend a lot of time and money on them to get them up to race back. So Troy, here we are at the night stage. Quite a fast stage here tonight. It is a fast stage. It's a great chance to see some of the big boys stretch their legs. There's a lot of horsepower running around here and this gives them the opportunity to put it on show. A few of the guys can really drive as you'll see the way they corner into the hill stage. They really take it fast. Some of them are not afraid to skinny pedal at all. So this course here tonight, even though it's a speed course, there are a few other bits and pieces thrown in, aren't there? Yeah, we can't just make a speed course without throwing in a couple of jumps and holes for them to go through. We try and put a few tight corners in to slow them down where possible. It also puts on a good show for the crowd. If they see the cars going sideways and up hills, they love that kind of speed. 